all right, all right. So I'm in a little bit of traffic, so don't mind the uh, the driving and talking at the same time. But um, we're on our way right now to Jenny and Gio's maternity session. And Jenny and Gio, we shot their wedding about about a year ago, I guess I would say. It was last year. Um, and, you know, I, I personally love shooting maternity sessions. I love shooting family sessions. Um, I just had this discussion with one of my photographers. He tells me that, you know, for families, maternity sessions, it's not really something that he enjoys doing. And I kind of get it. I personally don't like shooting, um, and I don't actually, uh, newborns. That's just not my arena. It's not what I like to do. And because of that reason, we recommend other people. So, you know, that's one thing that I like to do is I don't like being a dead end to anybody. So if somebody hits us up, I'm going to give you a referral. I'm going to give you somebody else. And it's, if it's somebody that I like, which is even better, you know, I'm giving somebody that I like work. So I think it's a win-win situation to be helpful like that. Um, but what I was telling my friend is that, you know, you don't need to shoot everything under the sun. I think that that's part of the beauty of the, what we do is you get to pick and choose to a degree um, what you shoot. So, you know, if you don't want to shoot families, don't shoot families. Refer them to, to us if you'd like, and, you know, we'll take care of them. I'll take care of you, and everybody's happy. Um, I think that that's a much better option than doing something that you don't enjoy doing. That. Because the family will feel that, um, and you don't want to build a frustration against something that you genuinely enjoy, photography. So, um, that was a long rant in order to say that I freaking love shooting maternity sessions outside. I don't like shooting in studio, generally speaking. You guys see that our studio, we don't shoot indoors. Um, but yeah, we're on our way right now. One of our uh, favorite locations, you guys have seen it on the vlog a few times. It's the Montage Laguna in um, Laguna Beach, California. If if somebody asks me for a beach location, it's very hard for me to recommend another location. Meaning, I may be tired of it, but this is the first time that they're seeing it. So to me, it behooves me to give you the best option and then maybe give you a few other options as well in case you see the beauty in a different spot. But, um, you know, I, I recommend this one just because it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful location. Uh, and we're not gonna start until about 6.45 because sunset is around 8. 805 or something like that so we don't want to be shooting in this harsh lighting that's happening right now all right, all right so today it's been an eternity since i've filmed so i'm gonna get into it but today we're gonna to be doing a maternity session here at um the montage laguna technically we're at treasure island park but montage laguna is back that direction um we brought two big lights well one big light one smaller light because it's extremely bright out as you can see especially over that direction so we're gonna need a little extra power. Um, normally, this is what we go to for 99% of our jobs, but today I wanted to bring this just for recycling time and to overpower the sun a little bit more. The AD400, which it doesn't get that much action, but today is really gonna you know, come into play. It is cumbersome and big, so I wouldn't do it without Jeff, our assistant who's filming this. Um, but since we do have Jeff, we have a Jeff it's gonna work out nicely and it's uh, it's really gonna help us out to overpower the sun as you guys are probably seeing in the images right now. Uh, and then the 8200 we'll use uh, once the sun starts to go down a little bit more and we don't need as much power. This is actually too much and it's gonna probably blow them out. So we'll switch over to that or we can use it as a backlight and then this one is all right. Light. And as far as equipment, what we're gonna be using today, which is pretty much what we've been using for like 99% of our shoots now, I got about seven or eight of our photographers, I think, probably um, probably everybody at this point, except for like the last ones, switch over to the um, this lens, the Tamron 35 to 150. It's not just because Tamron sponsored us and you know got me to try this out. It really is because this lens is ridiculous. So between this lens, the 35 to 150, f2 to 2.8, and the Sigma, uh, 14 to 24, 2.8, that's actually all I carry now. Now, I don't carry them like this because I'm not a savage, but um, we carry it in a, in a bag with extra batteries, extra memory cards, you know, all that stuff. But it's just a much lighter kit than what we were using before with, you know, a bunch of lenses. So it would be this, 24 to 70, 70 to 180, and it would just be, you know, extra. So now it's just 99% of this job is gonna be shot with this. Um, and then the remainder, like some of those wide, funky ones with lighting, it, 
they're gonna be done with this. Um, yeah, and the A9, obviously.